Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we created a new Rails 7 application from scratch and set up the React in that. We also created a very simple React component and rendered that into Rails application. Okay, now in this lecture, we will enhance our React learning and we will create another React component to list data by iterating over a JSON object array. Okay, we will do this because uh, before listing Rails collection object, we need to understand that how the React maps list of data into a component and how we can iterate through React. Okay, so let's do that first. Okay, so first you need to create a component into your components directory and create a new React component with the name question list dot JSX. So switch to the project directory and into the components directory. Let's create a new file and name this file as question list question list dot jsx okay and save this now in this component what we need to do as i told you in the last lecture that we need to use this import as react and import as react dom into in packages into our every component so let's do that here okay and now we need to define our component so how we can define our component just like this here you can see const welcome equal to the method body and here we can accept the arguments okay and then written statement into our component okay so since our component name is question list here so we need to create a component with name question list question list and then um, a third block to accept the argument okay we will use this block when we use props okay because props are the properties of element that we want to display so we will use that but later in the course okay so now we need to implement a dummy array here Okay, so in that dummy array, we will add some questions. Okay, and I'm using the questions list here because I just wanted to provide an additional advantage to all of you guys because in this component, I'm going to show a list of simple yet important Ruby questions that could help in learning a lot. Okay, however, it's totally optional that follow the exact, exact list I'm showing in this lecture. If you wish, you can work with any data collection of your choice. Okay, so let's define a array here okay so to define array what we can const and then questions list okay and then define an empty array and now in this empty array what we need to do we need to provide the json objects here okay and in that json objects we will provide this title and tag of the questions okay so first provide the title here and the first question's title will be how to check if a key is present in hash in ruby okay so the first question is how to check if a key is present in a hash okay so you can prepare this question as well because i am sure this will definitely help you okay so and then tag will be ruby okay and now we need to add another so just copy that okay and we will add another question here and into that question first remove that and uh, remove this question and here we will add another question so first let's keep it copy so we can reuse it and now add the another question title what we can write what is the difference between a string and symbol so what is the difference between strings and symbol okay and then you can add in another question like uh, what happened if you add two same keys in hash okay what happened if you add two same keys or keys with the same name in hash because as a ruby programmer you must know these basic questions because it is expected from you at every moment of your rails development okay because you have to help your juniors and you have to teach your juniors and you must have idea about that and if you are fresher then this will definitely going to help you okay now the fourth question would be like let's say what we can add in as a fourth question so let's add how to delete a given key from hash so how to delete a given key from hash okay and now as the next question we can add how to check if two hashes are identical okay so let's add another question how to check if two hash are identical means 
how to check if two cases uh, two hashes has the same key value pair okay no matter what in what order they are okay and now we need to have we can take another question is how to combine two hashes in ruby so let's add how to combine two hashes in ruby now as another question that we can take how to get unique keys from two hashes in ruby okay this is the question that uh, will be asked mainly from the fresher who has some experience with hash for example if there is a hash there are two hashes and both hash has some keys in common okay so how you can get those common keys from both hash okay so there are some inbuilt methods as well and you need to sometime write your own solution as well okay so let's add the question here too how to get unique keys from two hashes in ruby okay and add the question mark here okay and add another question and the next question will be what does the what does the hash key key member and include methods in a hash in a hash okay so first let's uh, word wrap here if so word wrap it and now add another question that another question might be then this is the most important question for ruby developers that is what are blocks in ruby okay and now the last question now you will be seeing that why i am typing so many questions here rather than implementing the component but uh, i would like to add at least 10 questions and that will definitely help you in both ways here you will learn how to iterate the list into react component and you will also get to know some basic yet important ruby interview questions okay so let's add another question here and that is does the order of does the order of keys matters to compare two hashes matters to compare two hashes in ruby okay now our list has been done okay so you can see what we did in the questions list we added multiple json objects in this question list array and we added two attributes into each json object that is two key value pair with title and tag title is showing the question title and tag is to represent that from which area this question has been asked you can add further question like you can add some race question and just add the tag ruby you can add uh, some uh, questions from css and add the tag css here okay so that is for that purpose only okay so our question list has been prepared here so now you can minimize it okay now after this question list what we need to do just look back at the welcome.jsx okay so here we added a return statement so we need to use the return statement into the question list.jsx temp component as well okay so here what we can because to display this components data we need to use return okay and now in this return what you can add add some class sorry add a div element okay and provide a class name to this okay and i already told you in the last lecture that why we are using class name rather than using class okay because we cannot use regular html class attribute we need to use the class name instead to display our attributes on the react component template or we react component on the browser okay so here you can add row why i am adding row class here directly because here you can see into the welcome.jsx i added the container class okay and i am going to import this question list into the welcome con welcome component that's why i am adding the row class here directly okay so into that row class what we can add further just to minimize the uh, close this div element okay and into this div element let's add another class that will be for a grid so div class name okay and here you can add call lg10 and then mx auto okay and let's close this div again and now in this uh, grid class what we can add we can add the card elements okay so card elements would be like let's say div class name and then card 
rounded zero okay and then we can add mt3 let's add some margin for each card okay, and now inside that card element we can add the card body card sorry give class name and then provide card body here okay and close this div okay and make sure whenever you complete implementation of a component you need to export you need to set the export default for that component so what you can do here export default and then your component name okay and now let's move to the top here you can see what we did so far that we added a row class and then a grid class into that row and we added card element here but where we are iterating this list okay so we will display every question inside the card okay so we need to use this card element inside our map method okay so we will iterate our question list using map method okay so and this is the syntax for writing dynamic uh, code here so you need to use this curly braces okay to iterate your array or to write your javascript variables or react variables here okay so since our component name is questions list okay and then call the map method on it okay map and here you need to provide questions sorry question okay and into this question let's provide okay and just add the line break here okay just add the line break here and into that line break what you need to do you need to call your react component here sorry your card element here okay and into that uh, map list let's paste our code okay correct the indentation okay and now in this card body we can display our question object attribute okay so here you can see this map method will iterate through this array and this question is the argument or that can be considered as the each element into the question list array and that is ultimately representing a json object okay and this is same as iterating the data on the index template into the rails application that we use let's say for example if we, we have question model in our rails application then what we will do at the red questions equal to question dot all and then on the index index template what we will do questions dot each do okay so here we are using map method and the question is just a loop variant or just the object of a question from the questions list collection and now we need to face fetch the attribute of that question into our card elements here okay so let's add some heading here okay and that heading is to just to display the question title so let's add h3 class here class name here you can provide let's say card title card title and just add your div and now into this div into this heading what you need to provide card title okay so what i told you uh, previously that we need to use curly braces to display the dynamic data okay so we can use question dot title okay and then sorry it is not d it is the h3 element okay and now after this what we can use we need to add a p class name lead sorry lead close this paragraph tag okay and into this paragraph tag tag what we can do further that we can add a span class to display the tag, question tag inside the batch okay so let's add any span element here span class name and the class name must be batch and then bg primary okay and close this span tag as well now if you wish you can just add a simple line break here that will do much better that will work much better okay and now into this span tag you need to provide the title tag of the question okay so let's add question dot tag okay so our react component to iterate the question list has been done now we need to render this component to display the question list on the browser okay so there is one more step to do this and that is to import the question list component into our welcome welcome component and that i told you at the start of the lecture that we need to import this component into our welcome component okay and then we are done so let's open your welcome.js component file and import this question list component there Okay, so how you can import this component that uh, after 
to the step where you are importing create components let's add the line import question list okay and then from here you need to provide the path of the question list component so here and as i told you into the index.js that we do not need to provide the file extension while importing the react components okay so we can simply provide the question list here okay and now to render this component what we need to do we need to import our comp uh, we need to place this component as a ST custom html tag into our return statement so let's add this component here question list and then just close it just like we did for welcome okay and now we need to restart our server and open the localhost 3000 okay and you will see the question list there okay so first this is to the terminal okay and into the terminal let's restart your server okay however restarting the server is not required you can simply refresh your browser as well but uh, i just restarted so let's restart the server and now open the browser in local at localhost 3000 so switch to the browser and write localhost 3000 here okay and when you refresh this page you can see that uh, the home controllers index section is serving here and now you can see the list of data here okay so you can see these are the questions that we added here how to check if a key is present in hash what is the difference between strings and symbol what happened if you add two same keys in hash and how to delete a given key from hash okay so and now just to uh, verify that this component is actually rendering on the browser what you can do you can see what is the difference between string and symbol i missed the question mark here so let's add the question mark into our question list array okay so open the question li list dot jsx okay go to the question list and into the second question let's add the question mark okay and save this and now if you refresh your browser you will see the question mark updated here okay so we added our uh, we added the question list and iterated through into the create component okay so let's have a quick look again that what we did in this lecture so here you can see that we created a component question with name question list dot jsx inside the component directory and there we defined the component as usual okay and into the return statement or return block what we did that we iterate through that question list array okay and we displayed the dynamic data and then to render this component on the browser we imported this question list template into our root component that is welcome okay and now how you can import that so you just need to provide the component name and then the path of that component and this is how you can import your component as a custom html attribute into the react dom okay so that's all for this lecture okay so look back again that this is the component is rendering okay and that is for this lecture but this is not completed yet there is an error and we will solve that into the next lecture now let me show you that what is the error if you inspect the browser okay and you go to the console you will see that warning message that each child in list should have a unique key property okay why because all these elements are not unique okay because everything is rendering this div card component okay but we need to make a key property in that and we will look into the next lecture that what is the key property and how we can uh, map a unique element into the browser dom using react okay so we will do that in next lecture till then just follow this lecture and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe